everyone welcome to dancing with bella so before i get started with this video i just want to apologize because i know i told some of you guys that i was going to try to upload more often but for some reason it seems like whenever i want to post more something always comes up so i just want to say sorry i feel terrible for real like I don't know I'm just gonna stop saying it and whenever I can upload more I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna surprise you guys because yeah this whole planning everything out just doesn't work out but yeah so today I'm gonna be talking about day shift versus night shift I know you guys have asked me so many times if it's better to work night shift or day shift and I'm not gonna tell you specifically which one you should work in because I feel like it really depends on your hustle and the type of crowd you like to work most of you guys probably already know that I love to work day shift. I know there's so many girls out there that hate day shift, but I'm one of the few that actually enjoys it. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, you know, and I don't want to deal with the night shift struggles and all that, but yeah, basically the difference between day shift and night shift is that the day shift has more regular customers who come in. We have businessmen. We also have a lot of older gentlemen. In my opinion, they're more quality customers. In night shift, you do get older gentlemen, but it's mostly younger guys. I would probably describe the night shift as a party scene. During the day shift, it's more calm, more mellow, but at night you have quantity. There's so many people in there, especially on the weekends. When I worked the night shift, sometimes customers didn't have a place to sit. It was literally packed from wall to wall. I did catch myself going from customer to customer a lot more often than the daytime. I don't know how to describe it. It was more like a faster hustle, you know what I mean? You basically had to get to the point, you know, if they wanted to dance, you know, go give them a dance. And if they didn't, you know, move on to the next person and all that. It was just quick. Whereas if you work during the day shift, most customers will go in by themselves. You know, you can make your regulars. It's more like a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the customers who go in. Girls get to chat more with their customers. A lot of customers also like to spread out their dances. Um, I have no problem with it, especially if there's no other customers in the club. But yeah, they'll usually talk for a little bit, go get a dance, talk for a little bit, go get a dance, talk for a little bit, and so on and so on. And like I said, I have no problem when it's not busy, but when it's busy, you know, I want that money in my pocket because I wanna go ahead and move on for those who actually want to buy a VIP or want to spend more money or something. Yeah, that can be an advantage or a disadvantage. The day shift can be kind of tricky, like I said. Um, it's pretty slow, so if you don't like slow days, then day shift is not going to be for you. But, you know, we usually get a rush when we open during lunchtime or a little towards the end of our shift. But you will get those customers who pop in and pop out. You know, some guys just want to go in and have dances. You know, they don't even want to talk. So they'll just come in, find a girl, go get a dance, and then leave. During lunch hour, some customers will just go in there and eat, have a drink or something. They won't even get a dance or tip or anything. But um, most of them are pretty good about it. And most customers know that we don't get paid. So they'll try to contribute, you know, like a couple dollars or whatever when you're on stage or whatnot at night you still get those regulars that go in and you still get older gentlemen like i said before but during the night time you'll have more groups coming in and like i've told you guys i hate when there's a group of people just because i like one-on-one -on -one conversations but um yeah a lot of young boys you know trying to party and you know trying to be in the strip club and all that trying to flex with those stacks of one dollar bills when they know damn well they're not gonna spend it <laughs> but yeah from my opinion the customers during the day are more mature and usually like i said the customers are very respectful during the day i don't know i feel like there's so many benefits to both shifts but I just pretty much like the day shifts because you know like you go in early you get to get off early sometimes the sun's still out and you get to go to bed like a normal person when I worked the night shift it got really tiring after a while because I would go into work at 5 and I wouldn't get home till like 3 4 in the morning and while everyone else was waking up I was just going to sleep and for a minute I felt like I had no life so I would wake up early maybe like around 7 you know go eat food you know get a drink <laughs> oh my god guys I'm ashamed of my alcoholism <laughs> um, but yeah before I knew it it was already time to go to work again 
So I basically didn't get any sleep and I felt like that was kind of catching up to my body and all that. I was just getting really stressed. It was fun for a while, but eventually it got old. I also think that there's less drama during the day. You know, sometimes you're gonna have those clicks, you know, or girls who just don't wanna be bothered or whatever, but the girls, you know, they're more understanding, they're more relatable, they're more open-minded. You don't have like 50 or 100 girls, you know, trying to get in each other's throats or whatever, I don't know. I feel like I have more intellectual conversations with the day shift girls like during nighttime is just you know like about nonsense and all that it's really cutthroat at night there's some girls who just don't give a fuck they'll just start a fight for anything there's definitely more clicks and more rivalry I know I've gotten in many disputes with girls during the night shift and yeah that wasn't cool like I hate drama now back then you know I was always ready to go I didn't really give a fuck and I had no problem feeding into the fire but now that I'm getting older though, you know, I want to leave that in the past. <laughs> There also seems to be a lot of fights within customers like I know I worked a couple nights where there was a few shootings you know like people just you know throwing punches and all that. There was also more drinking involved not only with dancers but with customers as well. There's also more stealing and more drugs involved during the night shift. I don't want to think about it but yeah I've definitely got a lot of money stolen from me at night time and yeah. Karma is a bitch, so hopefully Karma already got them. And drugs and alcohol, like I said, um, there's been times where I walked into the locker room and there was girls crashed on the floor of the locker room. Or, you know, like at night, you know, you would see girls doing coke in the bathroom or whatever. Um, like I said, you know, that's none of my business, but you see it more and you start being more aware of it, being around and all that, which can be dangerous because a lot of girls turn into drug addicts. But um, like I said, I'm nobody to judge, you know, but I'm just trying to tell you guys what you guys can expect. You definitely see it during the daytime too, but I feel like, you know, because there's more girls during nighttime, there's more going around and stuff. That's actually what I've came across, but you guys might have a different experience. Also, sometimes during the daytime, you don't even go on stage that often. And like I mentioned in my last video, they usually only have the main stage open. I say I probably go on stage maybe three to five times a day. There's been times where I've had to go every 10 minutes or so. But again, it's just one of those things that it really depends how many girls are there and all that. Usually one to 20 girls will, <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> it was a wasp. <laughs> I'm tired of getting stung by things. The other time I got stung by a scorpion, I didn't tell you guys, but yeah, it fucking hurt like hell. <laughs> um, anyway, so during the day, you'll basically have one to 20 girls come in. When I worked the night shift, there was girls who would come in from different states, from different cities, you know, and you could have anywhere from five to over a hundred girls I don't know <laughs> we did have to dance more when we went on stage the manager would open up the rest of the stages so we basically had to go from stage to stage so yeah I felt like nighttime really kept me physically fit because I was doing so much physical work it got crazy guys <laughs> see here's the difference because during the daytime, I love working Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. But if I'm working night shift, I love working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The only reason why I like working Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday during the daytime is because you usually don't get a lot of girls. And that's a bonus to me and the other girls because we get to make all the money. And for night shift, the best days are Friday, Saturday because you know, everybody gets off work, they wanna party. So yeah, like I said, it just depends what type of crowd you're into. Something that I don't like about day shift is that most of the clubs I've worked at don't have bouncers during the day. And that can be very dangerous. You usually have a manager, um, sometimes a waitress because I've been to other clubs where they didn't even have a waitress they just had the bartender for sure you'll have your bartender there if your club sells alcohol but other than that is mostly just the strippers in there and yeah that can be dangerous like I said because if some crazy motherfucker comes in there and he does something then we don't really have any protection you basically have a better support team at nighttime you have the manager you have you know the bouncers you have the house mom the waitresses the bartender and you know there's so many people at night that you're pretty much well taken care of I also forgot to mention this but if you guys have watched my videos um, you guys probably already know this but 
Usually during the daytime, you have less expensive fees, whereas at nighttime, your fees might be ridiculous and they'll probably be much higher than what day shift is. I personally don't have kids, but I also feel like it might depend if you have children. Some dancers like to work night shift, that way they can work while their kids are sleeping. Everybody has different schedules, just um, try to figure out, you know, like where you could fit in the strip club if you do want to be a stripper. But yeah, guys, so. I don't know, I hope I got, you know, like the differences between both. And I know I probably sounded like I was pretty much pro day shift, which I am, but like I said, it's all about your hustle and what kind of clientele you want to accommodate. Every dancer is different and everybody has a different hustle. So you got to make sure that if you want to know what's better, you have to experience it on your own so you can see what works best for you. There's been girls that have tried the day shift and they hate it and they go back to night shift. And there's girls who like day shift better and you know, they switch to day shift or whatever. But like I said, I just kind of wanted to fill you guys in on my experience, what I've been through and all that but yeah guys i want to know what shift you guys like to work in like i said everybody has different opinions about each shift but i want to be nosy and see what you guys feel about night shift or day shift that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any comments questions make sure to comment down below give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys